All right, guys, the word is out. It looks like that we might have a possible trade here for Patrick Williams on the table this offseason. One trade that actually could change the course of the franchise in a great way. This is Rico Greenhow. I'll be your host of Bulls Digest today. Before we jump into the content, guys, wanted to let you know here that 76.4% of you guys that actually watch the video are not subscribers here. Make sure that you press that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest Chicago Bulls news guys so without further ado let's jump into the topic here this is a Zach Buckley bleacher report and essentially he is talking about NBA trades that all 32 teams should have made the Chicago Bulls are in here and it actually features Patrick Williams I'm going to be going ahead and breaking this down and I'm also going to suggest a trade that the Bulls actually should do that will actually go ahead and I think move the Chicago Bulls forward so Patrick Williams traded to the Hawks or is he traded to the Hawks here? So in this potential report, it looks like that we are actually looking to move Patrick Williams. And it looks like Patrick Williams, Javon Carter, Dale and Terry to Atlanta for DeAndre Hunter here. And so the question is, is this a good deal? Um, so initially my thoughts here are that yeah it, it seems like it could be a good deal because look you're getting a guy in in DeAndre Hunter who has actually been into the Eastern Conference Finals he has shown that he can actually be the type of three and D threat that the Chicago Bulls are looking for obviously that they have not found with Patrick Williams here but there are some red flags here, and I really, really want to, to, to hint this out before we actually go any further here. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So Chicago needs a 3 and D forward, and Hunter can handle that. Granted, there isn't much more to his game, which makes this four-year, $90 million deal appear an overpay. But the Bulls could get a serviceable starter without parting with a prime asset here so look guys I, I'm not really in an agreement here because one that contract to me it basically signifies that we are doing the same thing uh, that we're actually doing with Zach Levine here we're actually picking up a contract that it doesn't make a whole bunch of sense for what we are going to get with DeAndre Hunter. In my opinion, I don't think that he is going to be that big of an impact player. And I feel like that we would be essentially giving our young pieces away. And yes, we might get a starter that is going to be able to, say, work with um, DeMar DeRozan, work with Kobe White, work with Ayo DeSumo, um, because he's actually shown that he can play off other stars with Trey Young. But the real caveat here with this is that DeAndre Hunter is never available. And what do I mean by that here? So taking a look here at this statistic, guys, if you're looking at the screen, Breaking it down here, DeAndre Hunter is a very young player. You're seeing the age, the 22 to 26 here. But look at the games played, guys. Look at this. 63 games, okay, 2019, 2020. Um, you know, out of 62 that he started, okay, so that's decent. But look at this. 2021, he only played in 23 games 2022 he only gave you 53 and then in 2023 he gave you 67 and then the irony of it here is that he was hurt yet again this season only giving you 38 points a game and then when you look further into the statistics guys if we look at the field goal percentage yes I mean he does shoot relatively good as far as from the field with the 48 percent here percentile this year in the 2024 season generally he's been right around 40 percent um, as far as the three-point percentage I like the increase of the numbers obviously when he came in the league in 2020 he was only shooting 35 percent took a little bit of a dip there um, to 32 percent then he went up to 37 then 35 and then he was shooting about 42 percent this season around so um, look, I, I mean, when you look at the numbers right there, that is 
the real reason why I think that this deal doesn't make sense in trading for DeAndre Hunter this offseason. I have a better deal that I think actually works out for the Chicago Bulls. And I think that it also, too, would rid us of Zach Levine as well. You guys know I've done this piece about Zach Levine. And if we're willing to go ahead and trade Patrick Williams and we're willing to trade Zach Levine, I think I have a deal that the Chicago Bulls should revisit that actually would go ahead and not only get us a starter, but it also, too, would get us bench minutes as well so follow me here i think that the one deal that the chicago bulls should go back and revisit and go ahead and pack package excuse me patrick williams and zach levine you guys ready it is going to be the deal here back to i'm going to say sacramento i think that this deal would make the most sense if we were willing to send levine and patrick williams over there and what am i talking about if we go ahead and say put zach levine we take patrick williams we throw him in there with one of our young pieces which i'm not i'm reluctant to do so but i'd say like dalen terry he was he was mentioned in this deal um it, it, or javon carter if the kings are willing to take this but we're sweetening up the deal and i'm saying this we come back to the kings and instead of just taking kevin herter and also to harrison barnes perhaps we can get the kings now to come off of keegan murray and we can get kevin herter back and then perhaps for the bench we can either take harrison barnes which i think he would be fine coming off the bench or i would even take off night davion mitchell here now here is why i would want keegan murray in this deal Patrick Williams has only averaged 10 points per game. He's averaging about an assist a game and only three rebounds a game. Keegan Murray, on the other hand, in two seasons, okay, Patrick Williams has been in the league for about three or four seasons here. He's already averaging 14 points per game. He's averaging five rebounds a game. And yes, he's averaging an assist a game. Now, I think his assist total would actually go up a little bit more if he's playing with the Bulls, if he's playing with Kobe White, if he's playing with Ayu Desumu, who have basically shown that between the two, they actually average about 10 points or 10, excuse me, 10 assists per game. And if you were paying attention to the Chicago Bulls last night and you're looking at what DeMar DeRozan has been doing, he's actually been getting upward to about six to eight assists a game. So I think that the ball is naturally going to move a lot more when you put a guy like Keegan Murray in there. That's going to get rid of Zach Levine there, who's been kind of a, a ball stopper where the ball kind of sticks here. And then on top of that, guys, we get a guy back in Kevin Herter who we could basically come off the bench with. He has done it in Atlanta. He's done it here with the Kings as well. And and he reminds us a lot of a player that we once had in Chicago, which is going to be Kirk Heimrich. I think it's a perfect fit here. And then on top of that, we get an excellent defender back in Davion Mitchell. I know we give up a little bit of size here with Dalen Terry. Trust me, guys, I hate that if we had to put him in there. Or if we could get them to take Javon Carter, that would be even better here, guys. But I think that this is a deal that, no doubt about it, I think the Chicago Bulls should go ahead and make this offseason this right here would actually go ahead keep us in contention we also get younger as well guys and we can look for the draft as well we keep our draft capital too guys and we shed a little bit of salary i know the kings essentially would have to kind of work that thing out with fox and sabonis here with the amount of money that they're owed but think about it like this it's a win-win situation the kings they can't stop a runny nose and really they want to outscore you anyway mike brown is is coming from the Golden State Warriors system. Perhaps he thinks that adding Levine here, they're getting rid of some defense, but maybe he thinks that he can outscore some people. Look at what they were able to do in last season's playoffs. They almost got the Golden State Warriors. So that's just my thoughts, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this news. Do we trade Patrick Williams here uh, to Atlanta, or should we consider the deal that I'm throwing on the table and we trade Patrick Williams and Levine to the Sacramento Kings. All right, guys, this is your host, Rico Greenhow. I'll see you guys on the next one, Bulls Digest. Go Bulls. I'm out. Peace.